Hello, I am Liz with Diderio Strings, and I am here today with Diana Ladio of Moxie Strings. That's right. What are we doing today? Okay, today we are working on tuning. We're going to show you the basics of tuning your instrument. Um, it's a vital skill. It's really important. You'll probably tune your instrument every time you take it out of the case, and probably multiple times while you're playing or practicing. Okay. So each one of these strings is designed to be a specific pitch, and because it, the instruments are wood and there are fluctuations in the weather, they have a tendency to either be a little bit tighter or a little bit looser, which affects the tone of the pitch. Okay. So it's important to adjust them to make sure that they're right where we need them to be. So how do we make those adjustments? Yes, so there are a couple different ways that we can adjust the pitch. The first is all string instruments have what are called pegs and most of them also have fine tuners. So pegs make big adjustments in pitch. So if the string is very, very far from your goal note, um, you might use the pegs. Otherwise, you might make smaller changes with the fine tuners. Okay. And bass is the only one that's a little bit different. They have a, a mechanism of tuners at the top of their scroll that they basically serve as both the pegs and the fine tuners. Okay, Yeah, cool. they make big and small adjustments. First step in the process is identifying our goal pitch, where we want to go. So most string instruments start with their A string. It's just kind of standard protocol. Okay. And usually there will be something playing in A so that you know where you're going, know what to match. And there's a couple different ways that we can do that. Um, a tuning fork is one. Okay. Uh, more likely now you're going to find an electric tuner that will play you a drone pitch. A lot of times it'll be a piano that okay. plays it for you. And if you're seated in a full orchestra, it's likely to be the oboe that plays the A for you. So we all start with an A. It's important first to really listen and internalize the pitch that we're going for. So maybe we use the electric tuner and okay. we'll start there. Let's do it. So I like to take a second, listen, internalize it. I might even sing or hum the pitch to really be sure of where I'm going. And then I will quietly add, this, add my A string. Not quite what we're looking for. No, that's out of tune. So that's, that's out of tune, <laughs> big time. All right. So because it is big time out of tune, we might use the pegs to adjust this one first. And there are a couple different ways that you can play the pitch on your instrument to match it. Okay. I like to bow because you can play a sustained pitch and be able to listen more constantly. But there's, you could also pluck and adjust using both either the pegs or the fine tuners as well. So okay, that's cool. just another method. When you're making these changes, what are yeah. you listening for? I'm listening to see whether my string is both is higher or lower than the pitch that we're going towards, and I'm waiting for it to sound identical. Um, when they, it's perfectly in tune, it almost sounds like just one note is playing. That's usually telltale sign. Okay. Yep. If I would like to raise the pitch, I turn the peg away from me, and that tightens the string and it raises the pitch. If I'd like to lower the pitch, I loosen it by turning it towards my face. Here we go. So now we've gotten pretty close. And uh, now we switch to the fine tuners to make those last small adjustments. If you turn it clockwise, it's going to raise the pitch and tighten the string, and vice versa. Counterclockwise will loosen the string and lower the pitch. Okay. There we are. Alrighty. Yeah. That sounds much better. It does. Yes. And again, very important. Important to keep doing it multiple times, keep checking. Okay. So, yeah. Now that our A is tuned, I imagine we probably repeat that process for the other three strings? All four strings can be tuned this way. Yep. Okay, cool. You got it. Do you have any other tips and tricks for us? Yeah. Um, it's very important to tune quietly so that you can really hear the pitch that you're trying to match. Also to tune slowly. Um, you're making adjustments in your string and it's important not to go past the pitch that you're looking for on your string. A string that is too tight is much more likely to break, okay. so we don't want that. Okay, cool. um, and also tune frequently because it's, uh, it's an important skill and it's something that your instrument's gonna be constantly fluctuating and if you're working hard to play your instrument in tune but the pitch of your string isn't in tune, it kind of defeats the purpose. So always be checking, always be making sure that you're aware of where your strings are and making sure they're in tune. Um, and tuning in general can just be a really great process and it's, it's very beneficial for musicianship, it's great ear training, it teaches you to identify pitches and it really helps you work on playing your instrument in tune as well. Very cool. Yeah. All right, well thank you so much. Thank you so much.